The leaks, filings, and community buzz swirling around the next-generation DJI Avatar 3 suggest that it will be a striking departure from its predecessors, less of a beginner-friendly FPV Sinwoop, and more of a bridge into prosumer territory. The original Avatar and Avatar 2 pursue a mission of making immersive, safe, and first-person view drone flights approachable for creators and hobbyists. In contrast, the Avatar 3 appears poised to push the envelope, offering a far more capable, ambitious, and performance-driven package. From upgraded imaging hardware and more demanding flight dynamics to refined ergonomics and smarter sensing, the outline of what might be a major generational leap is gradually becoming clearer. is the camera system. One of the most talked about changes is DJI's alleged move from a relatively small 1x17 inch sensor or equivalent in the earlier models to something closer to a true 1 inch glass sensor. This change is more than just marketing. It fundamentally impacts how the drone handles light, contrast and dynamic range. A larger sensor gives you cleaner shadow detail, improved performance at higher ISOS, a more nuanced color response, and a shallower depth of field that helps isolate subjects from backgrounds. For creators who currently use the Avatar 2 as a fast B camera or as an action insert rig, the upgrade to a bigger sensor would open up new creative latitude, allowing more aggressive exposures, more headroom in post-production, and better highlight control. Of course, a move to a larger sensor ripples through every facet of design. Leaked prototype photos show a noticeably more substantial forward camera housing. The optics must be redesigned, thermal management must be re-evaluated, and the chassis must accommodate different mounting and cooling strategies. It isn't just about sticking a bigger chip in the same shell. It's about rethinking the balance of the camera, housing, and airflow. The imagery suggests that DJI has taken this seriously, adapting both form and function. Accompanying the sensor upgrade are numerous rumors around video capabilities. Multiple sources point to support for 4K at 120fps, which would represent a meaningful step forward for an FPV Sinwoo. High frame rate 4K is a game changer for editors. It allows silky slow motion without resorting to heavy frame interpolation and offers the flexibility to switch between high speed and slow cinematic reveals in the same take. Combined with a larger sensor, this could mean that fully graded, usable shots emerge straight from the camera without heavy rescue operations in post. That said, sustained 4K at 120fps demands serious bandwidth, cooling, and recording performance. DJI would need to ensure robust sensor readout, efficient codecs, and thermal strategies to avoid overheating or throttling. But imaging is only one side of the upgrade story. Behind the shell, the Avatar 3 appears to be undergoing a significant evolution in propulsion and balance. One of the leaks suggests a transition from three-blade propellers used in prior versions to four-blade propellers. This is a fascinating shift. Four-blade props generally increase drag slightly, but they offer more thrust per RPM, tighter your authority, and a smoother, more even power delivery. For cinematic flying, where smoothness and predictability often outweigh raw top-end efficiency, that makes a lot of sense. The shift may cost some top-end efficiency, but it gains in control finesse. Further, there are reports that DJI has repositioned the battery farther back in the frame to optimize the center of gravity. By moving the mass reward, the craft's pitch feel and stability in transitions could be improved, an especially important factor when trying to maintain framing during dynamic maneuvers. Among the linked specs is a rumored top speed of around 140 km per hour, a figure that's been floated multiple times. The reworked props, revised mass distribution, and possibly retuned motors all aim to support that goal. Visually, prototype images depict the bulkier nose and modified prop yard or cage geometry to suit the new camera and blade layout. The altered silhouette isn't just aesthetic, it reflects practical engineering demands. A larger camera module needs space for heat dissipation, and the shift of 4K-120 workflows mandates better airflow or thermal solutions to keep things from overheating. DJ, I would have had to revisit payload layout, motor spacing, and prop guard geometry to preserve the Avatar line's famed safety envelope while accommodating performance upgrades. From the sensing and software side, the leak threads suggest sizable improvements too. The Avatar third may gain omnidirectional or enhanced obstacle avoidance, deeper return to home logic, and tighter integration with what's rumored to be a next-gen DJI headset or goggles. With better omnidirectional sensing, DJI could permit more aggressive automated maneuvers with less risk, 
Better forward and bottom sensors would make dynamic camera shots safer by reducing collision risk. Integration with a higher resolution, lower latency display or headset would unlock tighter fidelity between what the pilot sees and how the craft reacts. That's critical when you're pushing cinematic limits and the margin for error shrinks. For content creators, these sensing and imaging improvements might reduce the number of ruined takes. Fewer misjudged passes, less time repeating risky moves, and fewer losses of framing could translate to real-time savings on set. But rumors place the launch of the Avatar 3 somewhere between late 2025 and early 2026. Price leaks suggest a full kit might land in the US $1,200 minus one 500 range, with drone only or fly more bundles varying according to included goggles, batteries, and accessories that would place it above the Avatar 2's entry level tees, signaling DJI's intention to push the line more squarely into prosumer territory. That pricing positioning tells us a lot. DJI seems poised to ask more of their buyers, better sensors, better design, and a more polished integrated package. The Avatar 3 won't be a simple step up. It'll be a shift aimed more at creators and pilots who demand performance rather than easy plug-and-play simplicity. It also frames how DJI might orchestrate rollouts alongside other models. Overlapping launches like a Mini 5 Pro can force staggered release window, so each product gets its moment. So what might this all mean for creators and pilots? If the Avatar 3's rumored spec sheet holds true, it could mark a generational leap for users who blend cinematic shooting with immersive FPV workflows. The 1-inch sensor plus 4K at 120 FPS unlocks a far richer palette for editors and cinematographers, giving them the flexibility to punctuate fast, aggressive motion with graceful reveals in a single take. The redesigned propulsion, rebalanced mass, and upgraded electronics hint at a drone that feels sharper, more responsive, and more reliable during complex passes. Smarter sensing and headset integration could reduce retakes and increase confidence during intense maneuvers. In summation, the DJI Avatar 3 rumors sketch the outlines of a drone striving to be both safer and more cinematic. A bigger sensor, high frame rate video, stronger flight dynamics, refined camera housing, smarter sensing, and deeper headset integration. If DJI succeeds at harmonizing these elements, they may push the FPV Sinwood concept into a domain where it can challenge larger cinematic rigs in many everyday use cases. The real test, of course, will be how these systems perform together in real-world shoots, how well heat is controlled, how stable and consistent it feels in mixed lighting and confined spaces, and how dependable the hardware and software prove in the field. If it all comes together, the DJI Avatar 3 could represent a new standard for cinematic FPV, one that truly blurs the boundary between expressive performance and safe, reliable flight.